In this video we are going to see Siemens Weather Station Sensor Device Overview. Use Weather Station with sensors to survey temperature, brightness, rain and wind speed as well as integrated GPS module. Temperature, wind and rain sensors. Three integrated brightness sensors each 90 degrees apart. GPS positioning. Easy mast installation with attached mast bracket. Function. Functions with commissioning with ETS. Sending of the current GPS coordinates. Two objects for external brightness sensors. Adjustment of slats position according to current sun position. Sun protection area both horizontal and vertical. Sun protection can be temporarily interrupted via object. Sensor evaluation with logical and slash or operation of the measurement readings. Threshold switches with delay when falling below and exceeding. Logic modules with four input objects independent of the measurement readings. Features. These devices are weather stations with integrated brightness, temperature and wind sensors to detect meteorological data. The weather station AP25761 GPS contains also a rain sensor and an integrated GPS module. The devices communicate via KNX. The devices are designed for outdoor installation at buildings. Usage the main application is the measurement and processing of meteorological data to control of Venetian blinds, roller shutters or awnings. Temperature sensor. The integrated temperature sensor detects the current temperature value. Wind sensor. The integrated wind sensor detects the current wind speed. To be able to detect the real wind speed it is recommended to install the devices on the mast especially for facades exposed to strong frontal winds. Rain sensor. The integrated rain sensor detects precipitation. Brightness sensors. Three integrated brightness sensors detect, independent of each other, the current brightness. It is possible to use the average of the three sensors for further proceeding. GPS module. The integrated GPS module detects the GPS coordinates, longitude and latitude, of the location as well as current date and time. Functions with configuration with ETS. The relevant sensors for evaluation of the meteorological data and the further proceeding can be set via ETS. Functions of the weather station. The weather station contains four independent functional blocks. Evaluation units. According to the settings different telegrams can be sent via the KNX bus. The values of the communication objects are set via parameters for each functional block, sensor evaluation, facade, threshold switch, logic module, separately. For more details available in our blog. Technology and model. Location, function of the display and operating elements. 1. Rain sensor with heating, AP25761 only. 2. Three brightness sensors, front, right and left. 3. Programming button and LED. 4. Wind wheel. 5. Temperature sensor. 6. Wall fixation with connection for 24 volt DC self, AP25761 model only and bus connection, KNX. Mounting. The devices are designed for outdoor installation at buildings. They can be mounted directly at the facade of the building. Alternatively they can also be installed on a mast or at an edge of the facade, both by using the mast bracket. At first weather station and wall fixation must be separated. For folding up the device, too, respectively for dismounting the wall fixation. 5. It is sufficient to loosen the corresponding screws. 1. 3. Afterwards the wall fixation and the mast bracket, if applicable, can be mounted at the building respectively at the mast. After the weather station has been connected, see following section connection, it has to be slipped onto the wall fixation again. Note. 
The wind sensor should not be installed at a sheltered position. Shadows, example from masts, and reflected light should be avoided. The weather station only works in correct mounting position, wind rotor at the bottom. Connection. To connect the devices to the bus respectively the 24 volt power supply, AP25761 model only, the cables have to be fed through the rubber seals provided, which have been pierced with a suitable tool before. It is important that the hole is not too big, to ensure tightness. Then the cables have to be plugged into the screw less terminal respectively the bus terminal. Correct polarity has to be ensured. Note. The DC 24 volt output voltage of the power supply unit N125-X2 must not be used as power supply for the weather station. Commissioning. The programming button at the bottom of the device is pressed with a screwdriver to receive the physical address. The programming LED is on. It turns off automatically after receiving the physical address. Technical data. Physical specifications. Housing is plastic. Dimensions is height 180 mm, width 121 mm, depth 227 mm. Weight is approximate 300 gram based on the model. Fire load is approximate 12 MJ. Color is transparent. Power supply is via KNX 15 to 34 volt DC self. For heating of rain sensor, AP25761 model only. Bus current is less than 10 mA, AP25751 and based on the other models bus current is varied. Power loss type is maximum 0.24 Watt at 24 Volt DC, AP25751 model and based on the other models power loss is varied. Range of sensors. Sensor brightness is 1 to 100.000 luminous flux. Wind speed is 2 to 30 meters per second. Temperature is minus 30 to plus 680 degrees Celsius. Status rain sensor is rain slash no rain. Control elements is one programming button for load physical address. Display elements is one LED for monitoring bus voltage and for displaying normal mode or addressing mode. Connections. KNX bus terminal is diameter 0.6 to 0.8 mm, strip insulation is 5 to 6 mm. 24 volt DC self, AP25761 model only, is screw less terminal. 0.5 to 1.5 square millimeters, strip insulation is 5 to 6 millimeters. Environmental conditions. Ambient temperature in operation is minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 55 degrees Celsius. Storage temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity, non-condensing, is 5% to 93%. Climatic withstand capability is in 50,428. Protection class and 60,529 is IP44. If you want more information please follow our blogger, link in description and if you think this video is useful please subscribe, like, share, and comment our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.